I bought a Denko this time on Ham Radio 2. So what is a Denko? A Denko is a five and a half amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I needed another one of these for my FTX-1F. I use one of these for my ICOM 705 and I had to buy another one. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna talk about the specs. We're gonna show you the battery. And I'm gonna show you uh, how I'm gonna put this in my bag and what else I'm putting with it. So let's open this guy up here. Let me do this part off camera because my receipt's in here and it has some information that I don't want you to see. Like, you know, my phone number. I don't want you people calling me. So here we have a great little bit of literature. Tells you all about the battery. Very professional. So that's cool. But more importantly, we have... Oh, look at that, Dennis. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That right there is worth the price of the battery alone. I love that. Okay. Uh, no guarantees you get cat stickers, but Dennis and I have been friends for years, so we're both cat people. So this is the battery. Let's embiggen it for you there. Uh, he built this for me. So you can either buy this as a kit or you can buy it separately. Here's another one that I have. This is one that uh, I built. That's why it looks terrible. But uh, yeah, this is what it is. You've got four uh, 32,700 yeah, 32, cells. So lithium iron phosphate cells, it's five and a half amp hours. It has a 20 amp BMS. It's, these are from Dali, but he has them made. Notice the Denko. So like these, these are legit, these are legit batteries. So the, the reason I wanted a Denko, I was using a BioNO this one in particular, but it's just not big enough to do what I want to do. And uh, this one only does three amps max continuous discharge, six amps max peak, where this does more. So 20 amps really. And the reason I wanted it, one, larger capacity, but B, I have this MXP50 amp that I want to run, that I have run with my FTX1F and this will be able to power that. So very cool. I got the clear heat shrink on here. It's got the nice Denko Enterprise uh, sticker on there. These, I th think they're a hundred bucks. He, Dennis gave me a tiny bit of a discount, so I didn't pay full price, but I still did pay for this. Um, so they're like a hundred bucks regular. I think they're cheaper if you buy them as a kit. You've got a 30 amp Anderson power pole on there. And that's that, so let's talk specs. Obviously, it is a lithium iron phosphate battery, 12 volts, so they charge to 14.6, they'll settle down to about 13.2 volts. You've got a 71 watt hour capacity, so it's under the TSA's 100 watt hour limit, so you can bring this on the airplane. Uh, nominal voltage, 12.8 volts, discharge, 18 amps max. Yes, it is a 20 amp BMS, but the cells themselves, I believe are rated uh, for an 18 amp max discharge. You've got a 2000 cycle lifespan. So 100% discharge 2000 times uh, and the battery will still be at 80%. That's standard for lithium iron phosphate there. So this is gonna last a very, very long time. As far as protection, we have short circuit protection, overcharge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection and charge passive cell balancing. So this is gonna balance all your cells. That's what all these little red wires are. They're going to each individual cell to make sure they're all the same voltage. Perfect battery for QRP. This is really made for kind of QRP radios. I mean, could you power your 7300 off of this? Yeah, for a little while, maybe an hour tops, <laughs> but uh, mostly designed for QRP radios. As far as the BMS specifications, we can discharge this at 20 amps max. Because of the BMS, I really wouldn't go, he recommends 18 amps max. You can charge it at 10 amps, but uh, really don't exceed the cell specifications of a six amp charger. So I'll probably use either a two amp charger or a six amp charger, because those are the smaller ones that I have. Um, short circuit detection delay, 250 
microseconds and the BMS power consumption is 100 microamps. So those are the specs. Let me show you how I'm gonna set all this up in my little go bag. So this is my FTX 1F bag. This is a camera bag. I did a video on this before. It's from Caden. I'll leave a link uh, to Amazon. It was like $32. It's stupid cheap. Everything for my FTX is in here. Out here, I've got one of these Olight. Um, what the heck is this thing called? iMini 2s. These things are awesome. I have these on all my bags. On the inside here, I've got my MacBook Air. And then we have the FTX 1F itself, a linked NFED half wave, the microphone, some of these little uh, intubating stylets for hanging the antenna in a tree, a couple lengths of RG316 coax for maybe our industries, um, a signal stuff signal stick, Apple Magic Mouse, and these zipper things are freaking awesome. Uh, I learned about these from Kilo Golf 2 Mike Mike. Um, via temporarily offline, just little zipper bags that you can put stuff in. So I've got adapters and I made one of these little um, power pole to just Wagos here and an extra S beaner, these stupid things that come with the FTX to put the, uh, to put in the ports, the power ports and all that stuff. So you don't lose them extra fuse. I also purchased another Faraday antenna for this. Uh, this is a two meter Faraday, so I've got that in here as well. And the uh, pouch right here is what's gonna house the MXP50 amplifier when I wanna use it. I'm not always gonna use this, but you know, this is a lot cheaper than the Optima. And it's 50 watts, so who cares? And look at that. The Denco just fits perfectly in there. There's the power cable and because the Denko only has one power pole, which is fine, we're going to need to use some type of power pole distribution block. I have the PowerWorks PD-8, uh, and you can just make these though. Like here's one I made years and years ago when I first discovered power poles. I just basically daisy chained a bunch of wires together. It looks terrible and it works great. So I'll probably just rock this one so I can plug that into there. And then I have four power pole outlets. So one can go to the radio and one can go to the amplifier. And this amp only uses ah, maybe five or six amps. So between this and the radio, I shouldn't even come close to the uh, really 18 amp current draw that uh, the Denko's rated for. So we're gonna keep that in there. This can go somewhere else. And uh, then the cables for the amplifier. We can stuff right there, or maybe I'll keep them here, who knows, but that's it. So now I have a 50 watt FTX 1F with a battery that's capable of handling the current, small enough to fit in here, lightweight, inexpensive, and the amplifier. I think these amplifiers are about 150, 160 bucks. I think you get them on eBay. I don't remember, um, but that's it. So that completes the FTX. 1F go bag for me and it is beautiful and the Denko made it complete. I will leave a link to Denko in the description if you want to pick one of these up. They're awesome batteries. Dennis makes them all by himself. He sources all the parts and uh, sends them out either via kit form or for a few dollars more he will assemble the whole darn thing for you if you don't feel like making your battery. My name is Mike K and I'm Marty. Thanks so much for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.